Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing you all some love. You guys, I have some newness today on top of some winter gourmands that we're gonna be talking about. These fragrances are, y'all already know, I love talking about a good sweet fragrance. So most likely, if you are a gourmand lover, you should be subscribed to this channel. I hope you all are subscribed. If you are a fruity floral lover, subscribe to this channel. I love feminine, masculine, all kind of fragrances, but for the most part, I love them sweet, y'all. Um, so please continue to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells, all that good stuff, y'all. And we're gonna be talking about some sweet gourmand fragrances, and I got some newness today that we're gonna discuss. And some of these fragrances were recently in a haul, uh, but we're gonna discuss them in detail today, y'all. So go Go on and you know follow me over on Instagram like I said like comment subscribe please subscribe like now please uh, and also turn on those notification bells and let's get started so you guys let's start off with um, let's see we'll go in order so let's start off with my scent of the day first off okay so my scent of the day you know i felt a little banana e today it is not ambrosia imperial y'all i have worn half the juice on that fragrance um i'm not gonna be talking about ambrosia imperial because i've been talking about that fragrance to death but literally it should have been in this fragrance um review but it's y'all y'all know what it is okay i will link my review down below so anyway my my scent of the day is by the House of Heads Parfums. Um, it is a smaller indie house, but y'all, he is rising to the top and his fragrances are absolutely amazing. And I'm going to be doing a review on the fragrance house or some of the fragrances from the fragrance house very soon. So, um, Hez Parfum, love the bottles. Uh, I believe he is from New Orleans. Like I said, indie house, but they smell very niche, very high quality, uh, very luxurious, and you know, just, they're just good, y'all. So get into it, okay? I will link his reviews. I mean, I will link his Instagram page and link his website down below. I haven't tried Blue Dog yet, but I heard from a lot of other uh, men that blue dog was amazing. I think it's a unisex fragrance, but banana bread, ba banana bread banshee. It's a BBB. Okay. Uh, is my scent of the day. Leave your scent of the day down in the comments. Y'all, this literally smells like a loon feline extract mixed with cinnamon, banana bread, sugar, a little caramel. It's not too sweet, uh, but you get that rich resinous woody scent on top of a warm spicy banana bread and if you like any type of banana notes if you like any type of warm spicy vanillic scent in your fragrances um slightly woody spicy then you really need to try banana bread banshee he also has bourbon street which i absolutely love as well get your nose on this fragrance house you will not be disappointed especially if you love the note of banana you guys all right moving right along the scent of the day has parfums banana bread banshee banana bread banshee <laughs> that's like i said it's like bbb all right so the next one we're going to be talking about um i had this one in my november on my no november fragrance tray um and this is by the house of zaharov y'all this is supposed to be um like baklava but i really don't get baklava because i don't get that much pistachio in, he in here but what i uh do get in this fragrance i just recently went to new york and there was a stand on the corner and it was called nuts for nuts um they actually put me in a review i don't know where i'm gonna be on a website actually i'll look them up on instagram um this is is what this fragrance is reminding me of they literally had almonds they had cashews um, they had some pistachios hazelnuts uh, but just roasted a mixture of roasted almonds and because I don't get any like breadiness or pastriness from this fragrance I get raw organic honey and roasted almonds sweet walnutty almost like tonic um a little slightly milky i think there's coconut milk in here uh, but you gotta love the note of honey but when i tell you orum by zaharoff is delicious if you love the note of honey and fragrances because there is a lot of honey in here 
I sprayed it here. The honey is slightly animalic, okay? Slightly animalic. Um, if you like fragrances like Bee by Zoologist, then you're gonna absolutely love this. Bee with a gourmand spin on, a nutty gourmand spin on it, then you're gonna love this. So in Orem, like I said, you have your honey, walnuts, almonds, coconut milk, um, there's some honeycomb, there's some caramel, praline, chalk bean, cloves, cinnamon, all that good stuff. I have been layering this with angel share, y'all. And literally, you will blow somebody out the water with your sillage. Orum and angel share. Angel share gives it a little bit, bit more of that balsamic, um, warm, warm spiciness as well. A little booziness with this. Boozy, warm spiciness, y'all. It is stunning. I love this alone, but I also love this layered with angel share. And y'all, this nutty honeyness. You know, you get a little bit of that caramel and praline, but it smells like warm roasted nuts. Um, that guy was flipping those nuts. He had poured um, honey and he was cooking the honey. It was getting a little brown. And then he threw all of the raw nuts inside. It was crunchy, praline on the outside. And you still got that warm honey. Actually did a reel for them over on Instagram, Nuts for Nuts. I saw them the first day that I went to New York. Um, Y'all, that is what this fragrance is giving me. But like I said, layer this with, with Angel Share. Do yourself a favor and wear this in the winter and the spring. Spring, fall, winter, and spring, you guys. Amazing scent. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about is one that I've absolutely loved, but I don't talk about it very much. And I haven't worn it this year, but I'm going to wear it at least a couple of times before the year's over with. And this is by um, the House of, is it Pantheon Roma? Um, I think it's Pantheon. I think it's the House of Pantheon. This is a uh, Dolce Passion. Yeah, it's oh, it is Pantheon Rome. Okay, Pantheon Rome or Pantheon Rome. This is Dolce Passion. This is if you like um, what is it? What's Tom Ford's fragrance? I think I wrote it down. Uh, Black Orchid, but Black Orchid was a little too animalic and a, a little too heavy for you. If you like Black Orchid with like a little bit of a strawberry, because there's some truffle, dark chocolate, strawberry, a little bit of musk in here, then you're gonna love Dolce Passion. This is definitely a gourmand. Um, if you like, uh, what is it, Paulina Shars fragrance, uh, but if you want it like to add some truffle to that, then um, you really need to try this fragrance. But literally, uh, dark chocolate truffles with like a juicy, jammy, strawberry center. Um, in here, like I said, you have your, and there's honey in here too, but you don't get a really rich honey. You just get a really, a sweetness, more like a vanillic sweetness. There's tonka bean, there's dark chocolate, there's truffle, there's strawberry. It smells like there's a little bit of cherry in here as well, but um, it's giving more of a slightly sweet, jammy strawberry. Um, you also have some plum in here. Uh, which makes it a little dark as well, you guys. Anyway, such a gourmand, decadent, chocolatey truffle fragrance. And this is Dolce Passion. Get your nose on it. I got a chance to see them at Scent Explorer and smell some of their fragrances, but I need to smell the entire house, y'all. So hopefully they're, they're at Scent Explorer next year as well. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is, is the house of Lorenzo Pazaglia. Y'all, when I sprayed this on my fingers today, literally my eyes rolled back into my head, okay? Like this fragrance is freaking intoxicating. Um, and this is Sugar Kisses, okay? Sugar Kisses. If you like rich, dense, dark, thick caramel you know um with a little bit of like it's buttery it's like buttery dark dense caramel with a little bit of frangipani that brightens it up you guys this fragrance has so many dimensions and so many layers to it i think there's a little bit of a coconutty smell too vanilla coconutty buttery rich y'all this is absolutely they have come out with some amazing scents november and december and y'all when i spray this can i spray it one more time it might take over the room though when i spray this you know you guys when i spray this buttery it's caramel there's a brightness to this like i said it's i think it's the frangipani that gives it that yellowy yellowy fresh bright floral on top of that the density of this caramel and vanilla in here that buttery vanilla 
y'all sugar kisses is stunning okay um anyway in sugar kisses you have that cacao butter that's what makes it buttery and that's a top note there's some milk in here that makes it like tonic and thick and dense um heliotrope frangipani rum um i guess there's rum in here it, there is a booziness to this fragrance, you know, a buttery booziness, if there is such a thing, you know. <laughs> can can a booze, can a rum be buttery, okay? Um, anyway, caramel, toffee, benzoin, um, hazelnut, dates, coconut, and there's loads of vanilla in this fragrance, you guys. Get your nose on sugar kisses. You will not be disappointed. If you are a gourmand lover, if you are a partial gourmand lover, this is amazing alone and amazing for layering, but alone is best, okay? Um, get your nose on this fragrance house, Lorenzo Pazaglia. Now, let's talk about another one of one of Lorenzo's amazing creations. And this one is Sweet Explosion. Um, Y'all, this one is good as well, okay? Um, in Sweet Explosion, you have your uh coconut milk you have some honey some white honey which is not too prominent in this fragrance so even if you are afraid of honey don't be afraid of this one you have some citruses there's some grapefruit some and some lime like go figure because it just it just makes it amazing um you have some elongi long some typhros um some like argan you know how they make argan oil from the argan tree but they use these nuts they smash these nuts over up i was in morocco and i saw them make um like natural argan oil it takes a whole lot and i was initially complaining about the price of argan oil but y'all real raw argan oil takes a lot of nuts um, in order to extract that oil and they sit there and they squeeze those cloths to get that argan oil out so i appreciate it and i pray i i paid the price i didn't negotiate too much okay but argan oil is amazing it smells nutty it smells oily um and it is amazing for your skin so anyway, um, you got your Tonka, there's some Davana, and there's some coffee in here. So this dries down to a, in the in the opening, you do get a citrusy freshness, warm, spicy. It smells like there's a little bit of a cardamom, but maybe it's the cinnamon mixed with the vanilla. Slightly green, do not be afraid of the Davana, but it's very fresh. You get that type rose in here, that beautiful rose, but in the dry down, you get all those in the opening for about 15, 20 minutes, and then it dries down to a very slightly elegant soft rose that hides in the background the divana i really don't get as much you know y'all i was spraying all over my fingers um to make sure i gave you guys even though i've worn these fragrances um the most adequate review okay so anyway warm spicy floral slightly lactonic slightly um latte smelling you know absolutely beautiful gorgeous it gives me warm tonka warm spicy tonka bean with a little bit of a type rose in here and some brightness i think there's fry or elong elong there's not frangipani there's frangipani and sugar kisses but you get that brightness from that elong elong when i tell you this was a hit for men and women over there it is a complete hit and he said in six months this fragrance is a beast already and in six months it's going to be even more of a beast you guys so sweet explosion get your nose on it definitely unisex it's so transitional um and it is one to have in your fragrance collection slightly gourmand leaning this is not a literal gourmand like a foodie fragrance but sugar kisses is uh, but this one is slightly gourmand leaning and i am obsessed with a uh, sweet explosion a scent explorer well it was debuted at scent explorer not and not a scent scent explorer exclusive because i think you can purchase this as well on the site you guys get your nose on it gourmand gorgeous bottle as well and these are extracts okay no issue in performance um one that i want to talk about really quick um literally this is by a skincare house um this is pistache um and this is pistachio a uh, pistachio biscotti perfume um i layered this with my pistache by ds and darga um this may not be a hit but i do love the fragrance um it is a really dry ambery like a raw pistachio fragrance it smells like there's cardamom in here but i'm really not sure 
or you get a little patchouli in here as well. Uh, but you gotta be a dry, nutty lover in order to love the notes, the fragrance pistache. Now, when I layered it with this one, because this bought the ice cream, this bought the cookie, the biscotti, like a sugared or uh, a biscotti with a, with a buttercream on it. Y'all, absolutely stunning. Double churn ice cream. These two layered amazing together. Get your nose on them. I love them. This, this basically leveled up this fragrance right here. But together, this alone is beautiful. Um, most... I would say mass appealing. Most people would be able to handle it if you love a double churn, rich, thick pistachio ice cream, not gelato. This alone, most people might be able, to, uh, might not be able to tolerate because it's a little ambery, dry, nutty, um, rich, warm, dense, and very ambery. Um, so, but the but the two together are amazing. Get your nose on these two. This is not a safe blind buy. Pistache is not okay. So get a sample. And I would say get a small bottle because you may not like it. That bottle alone will last me a lifetime, okay? Um, so I may be decanting that one out for sale. Um, you guys, if I have a lot of fragrances, so I sometimes will sell uh, decants. Now, I don't do like... I'm not doing, depending on which fragrance it is, if I have a 100 ml bottle, um, I'm not doing like two mls or one mls. I just like, it's kind of almost like a waste of my time. But if you want a 10 ml of something, hit me up over in the DMs and uh, y'all, we can make it happen. Limited supplies, okay? Because some of this juice I am keeping for me. Um, anyway, and that is just for my people that I talk to on a regular basis, um, you guys, if you are in America. Um, so the next one we're gonna talk about is Dolce Diablo. Um, this is a beautiful, chocolatey, boozy apricot fresh apric apricots and dried apricots as well. You got your cognac, you got your rum, you got some dark chocolate in here. There's some sugar in here as well, you guys. It is a beautiful, rich, decadent, fruity gourmand scent with chocolate, but you gotta like the note of chocolate because I really get some like dark chocolate in this fragrance and a, a, a beautiful apricot -y scent. It is gorgeous. You get a little bit of that tartness from the apricot. This one, I get more of the chocolate than the booze, more of a chocolate covered apricot um, than a boozy apricot. Uh, but moving right along, and this is by the House of Narcotica, Dolce Diablo. Moving right along, let's go to a boozy soaked apricot, okay? Um, this is by Mielic Stas. Mielic Stas, when I smell this fragrance, my eyes roll back in my head as well, okay? It is so good, okay? Um, and I need a backup bottle of this because this right here... Smells like nothing else in my collection. I get the skin of the apricot. I get the flesh of the apricot. It smells like some um, some fresh apricots have been soaked in booze. You know, you get a little bit, bit of that tartness, that sweetness as well. But y'all, this is so good. It's warm, it's spicy, it's a non-animalic honey, a rich organic honey but it is one of my favorites. I will always keep Mielic Stas in my collection. This is like in my top three. I have four actually. My top four honey fragrances in my collection. Um, Orum is one, Mielic Stas is one. Um, another one, moving right along, but y'all, this one's good. Another of my, uh, one of my top four honey fragrances in my collection is called uh, Methesis, which is, it says Mioex is here, but it's Methesis because I think this is Greek, you guys. So here you have a fig. You gotta like a green fig, honey, cacao. It's boozy, it's chocolatey, it's dark. Y'all, it's, it's a little powdery from that cacao powder. I absolutely love this fragrance. And it is one of my fig, my favorite fig honey fragrances in my collection. It is complex. It is beautifully complex. And y'all, this is this, this fragrance house is an absolute love for me. Uh, Manogarakinis and this is Methesis. Get your nose on this one. But fig, honey, dark chocolate, cacao, y'all, it is absolutely amazing. 
So the next one we're gonna talk about, let's talk about um, this fragrance. I have three fragrances, actually four fragrances that were gifted, okay? Um, and this first fragrance is by one of my, it is my favorite gourmand house, okay? Literally, of all times. You guys know that, I've done multiple reviews, um, and this is the House of Jusette, and this is Le Gourmand. If you are looking for a gourmand fragrance, then you really need to jump into the House of Jusette. Um, I believe everybody knows Accident a la Vanille, which is a stunning, buttery, sweet vanilla fragrance. Um, and now we have Le Gourmand, okay? So in Le Gourmand, this is, um, I did a review over on Instagram, like a live, when I unboxed this fragrance. Uh, my boy Rico, he's an ambassador of Jusette. Um, Y'all know that I love African Queen. Y'all, that was my very first Juicette fragrance that I bought about maybe four years ago, um, and I fell in love with the house. It is a African queen. It's powdery, so you gotta like a little bit of a powdery scent. Um, I back a bottle worthy for me. There's lemon, rose, cacao in there, vanilla. It is absolutely amazing, and I love it. Uh, but in Le Gourmand, which is the latest release, Ah, oh, this is so good from Juicette Fragrances. Um, I wore this one day already and I did get two compliments. Um, but they, this is the new packaging, you guys. Let me show you. So, um, I should have bought an older bottle to compare, but like I said, I'm going to do an updated review anyway on this fragrance house. So, Le Gourmand, look at the new packaging. Look at the bottles. Remember, I was talking about the cap in one of the reviews before, and I was like, oh, the cap was aluminum. And I was like, oh, I wish the cap was metal just or glass, just like the bottle. Uh, but the bottle's glass, of course, the cap is metal. You guys, I love how Jimmy, um, hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, if you're watching, you guys know that I love you. Um, Jimmy put Juicette here right at the top. Then you have Juicette here. Then the cap is metal and heavy on top of this plaque here. Um, there was a plaque on the older ones as well, but this plaque completely covers the bottle. And y'all, the bottle is glass. It is stunning. I love it. Love the details, all of that. Uh, but in Le Gourmand, okay, um, this reminds me, my daughter is a patient pastry chef. Um, and if you are, if you are ever in LA, make sure you DM me over on Instagram because she has the best cupcakes you will ever taste in your entire life. Yes, they are better than sprinkles. Um, I remember we used to go around to sprinkles and like cupcake, um, bakeries. Uh, that is why I took her to Paris because she's a pastry chef, but we used to go around to all these cupcake, uh, or these cake or patisseries or bakeries here in California and test them until she figured out um, the best version of hers. You guys, I've eaten so many cupcakes in my lifetime, it's ridiculous. So anyway, uh, my daughter makes these chocolate chip, like these, um, what do you call it? They're not thin, they're kind of chunky. They're chunky chocolate chip cookies. Um, with some walnuts in them. So you can order them without walnuts as well. But a chunky, chunky chocolate chip cookie, it's a little crunchy on the outside with a soft center. Um, and then she sprinkles sea salt on top of them. That is what this fragrance is. Literally, when I sprayed this, this took me back to my daughter's cookies. Uh, by the way, um, her name is Sugar Rush Bar. Um, Sugar Rush Bar, not with an H, over on Instagram. I will link it down below. Um, she makes the most amazing chocolate chip cookies. Uh, in here, I think there's butter in here. There's cookie dough in here. There's hazelnut in here. Um, it literally tastes like, not tastes like, it smells like, dense chocolate chip cookies with sea salt with that um not that little sprinkly sea salt this is like a himalayan sea salt um with some hazelnut spread and you smack two cookies together and you bit it and then you like guzzle some milk you guys this is literally um it is a photorealistic chocolate chip salted chocolate chip cookie apparently there's supposed to be the note of toast in here it's a butter in here uh but that is what i get from this fragrance and i absolutely love it but of course that butteriness and that toastiness is coming from the dough for me the cookie dough but y'all 
Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it, but this is so good. It smells buttery. It also smells like um, you have some buttery toast and you could put some hazelnut spread and some chocolate chip cookies on there you guys um this smells like multiple gourmand scents i love this lay gourmand if you are a foodie gourmand sweet pastry type person fragrance lover then you need to get your nose on this fragrance rich decadent thick i love it you guys um, the next two Jimmy sent me over, which I actually had um, the chance of smelling. I purchased the three set. I think it was about two years ago or a year ago. Um, he has these now in the 50 ml. Now, these came in, I think, like 15 mls before, and there was a chestnut and vanilla, but there's no longer a chestnut and vanilla. But I don't mind because the least, I really like chestnut and vanilla, but it kind of gave me, kind of gave me similar vibes of other fragrances initially when I purchased. But now, this is the Les Mignardis, okay? Um, and he has the 50 ml of the brown sugar and ginger, uh, gingerbread and brown sugar and the spicy pumpkin and marshmallow you guys everybody's talking about joe malone's ginger biscuit and i'm like ginger biscuit who ginger biscuit what like you don't even need ginger biscuit like i smell ginger biscuit and i really wanted to purchase it but literally it did nothing for me you guys um it was very light me and i went to I think it was the Culver City Promenade or something like that. Um, Century City Promenade. And we literally went up there to buy Ginger Biscuit at the Joe Malone store and they had it. Um, and this was a couple months ago. And I sprayed, I sprayed, you know, because I just wanted to test it before I purchased it. I was like, I don't smell anything, you know. I sprayed again probably like 10 times. I was like, May, I really don't smell anything. I sprayed another five times, like 15 times in one spot. I wasn't getting it. I was getting a light and I got some real good spicy. I'm used to ginger. I, I drink ginger. I take ginger just about every day. I eat like raw ginger. I chew on ginger. So maybe my body is just used to ginger. Like, I don't know. But I wasn't smelling ginger biscuit. But this baby right here, gingerbread and brown sugar. If you want the gingerest of gingerbreads in your collection, then you need to get gingerbread and brown sugar. When I tell that you that uh, Joe Malone's uh, ginger biscuit does not even compare, it is, it is not as half as strong as this one right here. If you want a rich brown sugar, dense, warm, spicy gingerbread fra fragrance, then you really need to get your nose on this fragrance. And that is, this is no lie, okay? There's no comparison. I love this. It literally smells like warm, spicy, the best fat, like big square piece of hot gingerbread you will ever eat in your life. That is what this fragrance is giving me. This this smells like gingerbread from France, okay? <laughs> Not gingerbread from America. This smells like the gingerbread that you would have at Christmas in the Hansel and Gretel cottage, okay? Um, I Y'all, it is so good. And you can do so much. You can wear this alone because the ginger is gingerine in this fragrance. When I tell you there's ginger in here, there's ginger, okay? It's gingerine, okay? I love, I cannot stress to you how much, if you have ginger biscuit, you need this fragrance in your life, okay? That is all I'm gonna say. Moving right along, Les Mignardis, it is no longer in a collection. You might be able to find it on like a different, not on Juset's site, but it may still be at Lucky Scent, Les Mignardis, that comes with the vanilla and chestnut, uh, gingerbread and brown sugar, and it may come with a spicy uh, pumpkin and marshmallow. Y'all, I hate, I literally hate, and I gotta hurry up on this video, okay? I hate everything pumpkin. I hate pumpkin pie. I hate pumpkin lattes. I hate pumpkin anything that you have to eat. But when you smell this pumpkin, I fell in love. This pumpkin smells like a Little Debbie. Like if Little Debbie, you know how you get those little marshmallow um, or a moon pie. Just say you have a pumpkin moon pie uh, with a pumpkin glaze over it with that dense marshmallow inside. Y'all, spicy with some cinnamon. 
that is what this fragrance is giving me. Um, you can wear this. It is you. It's very wearable. Um, it is amazing. It almost smells like because of the warm spiciness of this fragrance as well. It almost smells like there's a little bit of ginger in here as well. When I tell you. If you layer these two together or layer these with any vanilla that you have, you are going to smell like the whole holiday, the whole event. This is absolute. These are stunning and you need these in your life. This, um, I mean, the holidays, Thanksgiving is gone, uh, but you need these in your life, you guys, for this Christmas or even just for the spring, the fall, whatever. Um, amazing for layering and amazing alone. Get these fragrances in your life. Uh, moving right along. Those were gifted as well. So next we're going to talk about, and it's getting a little warm in here as well you guys i'm getting like hyped up talking about these fragrances and uh yeah like i said you need those juice sets in your life all right so moving right along as i'm like uh getting a little warm <laughs> with this like hot turtleneck sweater on caramel oud by the house of theodorus calatinis you guys the only review that i have watched on caramel oud was adriana dc's so you got your um and this was after i smelled the fragrance of course i've worn it a couple times um so this fragrance is so good it almost gives me a little bit of a, a creamy fresh leathery scent from the saffron but you got your caramel there's some saffron there's toffee or praline there's oud um and i think there's a macaroon note in here as well i'm not really sure uh, but i know that he did post macaroons this fragrance is gorgeous it is amazing for the fall winter and um i love it it's beautiful i'm gonna do an updated review like i said but I think Adriana DC, you get a little bit of nuttiness in here from that toffee or that praline. I think Adriana said that she gets a little bit of a cherry vibe. Um, I love Adriana DC's reviews. Um, she's very funny, very open, just lovely, bubbly. Um, absolutely love her. So go follow her channel. Um, she's on Instagram and over here on YouTube. And I think she's in London. Um, so anyway, Caramel Oud is an amazing gourmand leaning but there's a lot of saffron in here and it's giving me a slight leathery scent the oud in here is non-animalic it's not very oudy i think it just adds to kind of like the woodiness of this fragrance but it's not oudy at all but y'all it is beautiful it's giving you saffron caramel woodiness and i'm absolutely loving this and this is caramel oud by theodorus calatini's one of my favorite perfumers over in greece him and mano Gattachini's, i absolutely love their fragrance house but yeah this smells like nothing in my collection super affordable um smells i don't know if they he's considered an indie or a niche house but it smells very expensive you guys get your nose on this caramel oud it's amazing all right, so the next one we're going to talk about, um, yeah, yeah, guys. <laughs> the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Fragrance of the Year, I guess 2023 we're in. Um, and this is Parfums de Marley. This is a beautiful, I get a lot of orange blossom from this fragrance. Um, gourmand leaning fragrance, floral gourmand, because I get orange blossom. Literally, I get cardamom, orange blossom, and praline, you know? And I think there's a, is it Akigala wood in here? Or a woodiness that's giving it a slight animalic oodiness in this fragrance. Um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, but if you want a more of a sweet, it still gives that saffron, that orange blossom DNA uh, with a really rich, dense bourbon vanilla, but it's giving it an airiness too as well. I think there may be ambroxan uh, I, I think it's ambroxan, not ambery. There's some ambroxan in here. So you got that ambroxan, that bourbon vanilla. It's fresh. It's dense at the same time. It's slightly sweetened, but not too sweet. It almost smells a little like a, a pudding, a bourbon vanilla pudding, you know, with some freshness and orange blossom, you guys. Um, this is gorgeous. This is all there by the house Altair, by the house of Parfums de Marley. Get your nose on this. So the next one is one that I'm going to briefly talk about. This is Hawa Kiss by Ojar. If you love a sesame nuttiness, then you're going to love this fragrance. There's cardamom, there's honey. Gotta love the note of honey too as well because I love the honey in here. It's fresh. It's I'm getting some mandarin or citruses in here. It's beautiful. I think there's some rose in here as well. 
but you literally get that a slight floral in the background. It's fresh, it's nutty, it's sesame, it's almondy. There's roasted nuts and cardamom in here. It's sweet, it's vanillic, it's beautiful, it's ambery. Get your nose on Halwa Kiss by the House of Ojar. Um, slight gourmand leaning, very unisex. Uh, performance is amazing. All of these fragrances here that I have, the performance is stunning, you guys. So um, more than eight hours plus, eight hours, okay? Get your nose on Halwa Kiss. Love this. I do plan on getting the oil at a later date to layer with it, but you don't necessarily need it. Um, so the perfume alone is gorgeous. Um, the next one is Cafe Cabanel. This is more of a milky coffee, a lactonic, like a latte with some citruses, you all. Beautiful. It's like a, just say you took a caramelly, a caramel latte, um, and you added like some orange zest on top of it. That is what I get from, and, but it's real milky and caramelly. Um, that is what I get from Cafe Cabanel and it's amazing in the winter. Um, you can wear this alone or y'all, yeah, I can imagine a uh, gingerbread and brown sugar layered with Cafe Cabanel. Like y'all need this, get it. Okay. That's all I got to say. So the next one is by the house of EBK and this is deep, this is deep in desire yacht. Um, deep in desire yacht is it's tea, it's hazelnut. Um, I think there's some grapes in here, but it smells like a black currant. So it's black currant. There's some tea, hazelnutty black currant gives you vibes of if you smelled one umbrella for two, but this is like one umbrella for two, uh, with a little bit of a uh, bergamot. It's a little more fresh citruses. Uh, one umbrella for two has more of a gen micha, a really rich, sophisticated tea inside. This one has chamomile tea and I, I'm a tea drinker. So I definitely get the difference in teas. Um, this one is a chamomile tea in here. You smell that. And you get that citrusy scent from the bergamot, the hazelnut, the chocolate. It's very airy. Um, you can wear this fragrance like 365 days a year. But depending on how you spray, it's going to be amazing for the fall. Because it's definitely still that hazelnut and chocolate is giving it that density, you know. But that bergamot and that chamomile tea brightens it up as well, you guys. Get your nose on this Deep in Desire Yacht. This is nuclear. You only need about four sprays, maybe three, and be done, you guys. Uh, but definitely a lovable gourmand for the winter. Um, last but not least, this video is a long. <laughs> last, you guys are like, uh, as per usual, okay? Um, <laughs> ain't nothing changed. So anyway, Goldmer Absolute, and this is by Carolina Herrera. This is so good. Like everything on this table is so good. I'm not exaggerating, you guys, and I'm not hyping these fragrances up. They are just that amazing, okay? Um, I don't hype nothing up unless it's amazing, all right? So anyway... Oh, this is so good, okay? Um, Carolina Herrera's Gold Mart Absolute. You get that warm spiciness from that black pepper. There's Immortel in here. If you love the note of Immortel, if you love cacao powder or cacao pod, um, you really need to get your nose on this fragrance. But literally smells like uh, warm, spicy Immortel and chocolate, okay? Chocolate and vanilla. Love this. Get your nose on it. Gold Myrrh Absolute. I always want to call this Gold Myrrh and Tonka, uh, but this is Gold Myrrh Absolute by Carolina Herrera. This is my favorite from the house, and Bernie Rose is my next, you guys. Anyway, that is all. I won't hold y'all any longer. Um, go on to the world, spread amazing, see how do good, be good, all of that, and get your nose on some of these amazing winter gourmands that I have been loving lately. And get your nose on the Les Mignardis by the House of Giuseppe and Le Gourmand. Make sure you test that. Uh, but for Le Gourmand, it is definitely photorealistic, a foodie gourmand, okay? But I am loving it, all right? All right, bye-bye, you guys. Love you all.